morning YouTube well Christmas morning we've just had the uh, the madness of uh, Christmas morning with the kids and opening all the presents I've just sloped off for an hour before I uh, shoot back and cook Christmas dinner for everybody just wanted to uh, shoot a little video and say thanks to everybody that supported the site all my subscribers you know I'm blown away by uh, you know almost 1200 subscribers and uh, 25,000 uh, views of the site no one more surprised than me so thanks to everybody that's uh, supported my madness what I'm going to do this morning is just make some uh, DIY fire lighters this is a fir tree in my back garden I'm going to get up there and get some cones off of it because they're uh, full of um, oil you know fir trees uh, pine trees and uh, conifers they're all the same family I might even zip some of these off and uh, make some tea for you but uh, let's get up there and get these pine cones okay so uh, here's our pine cones all I'm gonna do is harvest about uh, a couple of dozen you know that's all I need these are gonna be the basis of my uh, homemade fire lighters you know you can see the pine oil just oozing out of this uh, uh, cone so uh, once we get these wrapped up and treated these are gonna make great fire lighters and of course they're free don't forget don't take more than you need you know I'm looking at a couple of dozen they'll probably see me very nicely through the year okay this is how we're gonna make our DIY fire lighters so I've got my pine cone need a bit of cardboard about an inch wide, about a foot long. Cardboard's going to become the wick, really, of your uh, uh, of your fire lighter. So all we're going to do is just uh, roll the uh, cardboard around the pine cone till we end up with uh, something like that. And now what I'm going to do is just put a piece of uh, gardening wire around it just to hold it in place. Okay, so there you go, that's our uh, pine cone wrapped up in a bit of cardboard, corrugated cardboard with a bit of wire around it. Now what we're going to do is set it to one side, going to heat up some uh, good old fashioned uh, old candle wax. Okay, so this is how I make them. What I do once I've got a dozen of these is I stand them in an old egg box. And then what I'm going to do is heat up some candle wax, going to pour in the candle wax and that will give us uh, a dozen brilliant uh, DIY fire lighters. Okay, what we're going to do then is just uh, melt some of this uh, candle wax uh, in a uh, just got a, an old tin. Get as much uh, this old wax in there as I can. What I'm going to do is cook it over one of my fire lighters that I've already made for you. Back soon. This is something I've had for years that I've uh, probably never showed you. It's a little uh, portable barbecue. Comes flat packed, just all folds out. It's very similar, I suppose, to some of the um, weird and wonderful, sort of quite expensive uh, systems on the market. And it was, uh, as I recall, it was pennies. What you do is literally just fold the sides up, put the pins in which uh, become the legs, and then uh, turn it over. Keep this in the bug out trailer, but uh, it's small enough, light enough really to go in your pack. But uh, you know what I'm like when I go out, I'm uh, all about uh, finding things as you go and uh, the less we carry with us uh, the better okay so there's the grill that's as complicated as it is that's our little cooker let's get one of these pine cones lit for you see how long it burns for okay what we're going to do is uh, these are some I've made earlier just going to tear one out of the cardboard put it in the uh, burner and light it up for you what we're doing is we're just lighting the cardboard with a match
the other thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, see how long the burn time is for you okay so we've lit the cardboard which is soaked in the wax the cardboard's the wick in effect and uh, the candle wax is the fuel and then you've got the pine cone so you've got the pine resin in the cone and then you've got the physical wood so um, that's it let's see how long it uh, burns for back soon So the candle wax has almost uh, all the way melted down and our fire lighter is still burning fairly strongly and it's been, um, God, you know, several minutes now. So as soon as this is completely melted, what I'll be doing is pouring it over the rest of the pine cones that I've uh, made just in the same fashion as I showed you uh, making the first one. Back soon. Okay, that's our old candle wax uh, melted, and uh, we're at eight minutes now, and uh, our first fire lighter is still burning uh, really strongly. What we're doing with this uh, melted wax is we're just pouring it over the pine cones in the cardboard in the egg box. Like I say, this is just old candle wax that I'm fortunate enough to lay my hands on from the church and uh, especially this time of year with the uh, services that we've been having we've got loads and loads of candles <laughs> okay now we're going to leave that to uh, set and dry and that will be our next batch of fire lighters from wherever whenever next we're in the field but I mean this is burning so strongly that in effect I think with a little you know a little cooker made out of a tin can that could in itself be a very good camp stove time so far 9.22 and counting it's my guesstimate that this will burn for at least a uh, quarter of an hour so let's see back soon Okay, you can see how the wax is starting to dry in the egg box. You literally just, you know, tear one off in a corner or a, in a little compartment and uh, light it with a match. And that is your DIY fire lighter. This one looks like we might even get about 20 minutes out of it. Okay, YouTube, I think that's the uh, last flame that's just disappeared. You could probably blow it back into life but uh, 1732 so um, how about that nice little trick um, thanks to everyone for supporting the site and my personal madness I uh, look forward to making some uh, you know entertaining stroke interesting films for you next year I really appreciate all your comments I wish uh, everybody all the best for uh, 2012 and um, you know, good luck to everybody that's uh, been struggling in uh, 2011. Hope your luck changes. Any comments? Love to hear them. Back soon.